Welcome back everyone, my name is Cezento and everybody has a brand new video and today I want to give you guys a honest review of the Black Ops 3 beta. Now I have been blessed enough to be able to go ahead and play it for 10 straight or for 10 days. Uh, I was able to play it on the PS4 thanks to a good friend of mine giving me one of his codes that I was able to use on the PS4 and then I also had it on the PC beta because I pre-ordered it on the PC as well. So pretty much what I'm going to be saying is just giving my opinions and my personal thoughts on this and the thing that's going to be kind of different from mine is that it's all me in my perspective. I'm not favoring one side specifically. I'm not, you know, that 12-year-old kid that is saying that this Call of Duty is going to be the COD killer of the century or whatever stupid thing that, you know, they just got done watching a video and then they're just copying from the exact same guy that they just, you know, they just watched. So this is my 100% honest review. The things that they did absolutely horrible that just shat the bed and the things that they did phenomenal so i want to get straight into it so that way i have plenty of time to go ahead and give you guys an entire overview of the game so we'll head straight into it so on the pc beta we got the same problems that the ps4 got where you would have a hard time going in and getting in a lobby with your friends or you know it took a long time to find a match but on top of that we got even more and what i mean by that is that first of all it absolutely pissed me off it made me rage more at the fact that it was happening because it was such a crappy PC port and you know you could tell that it was just kind of it was a massive problem that honestly it made me play the game a lot less I would have been grinding from one from day one but I honestly forced myself not to play it because of how bad this problem was and what I'm talking about is the massive stuttering problem that was on PC it pissed me off royally that the game even had this to begin with I can understand a little bit here and there but not to this extent now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about is that on the PC when it first came out you would have this really bad problem where you would rubber band I'll go ahead and give you an example is when you rubber band is you know you know you you try to go from one place to another but you keep getting teleported back to your original place because of the servers or the the client or whatever the case may be you just kept getting rubber banded now I want to go ahead and have I, I'm trying to explain this or imagine it for you guys is that take that problem make it in sequence so every time you move you could you could literally not move like it was it was extremely hard to move or even get around the map and then times that by 100 that is how much of a problem there was with the stuttering in this game and it just it royally pissed me off now i understand this is the beta but i mean come on you you guys had to have looked it over if you didn't have the problem for the ps4 why could we why did we have the problem on pc is that just because you guys spent way too much time putting it into your precious PS4 beta so that way you know all the 12 year old kids could go ahead and jack off to how amazing it was. This royally pissed me off. I think it's one of the worst betas that I've ever that I've ever played to begin with because just the massive amount of stuttering that there was and it just royally pissed me off and made me not want to play the game. And on top of that we had the same problems that they had and I'm not even going to go ahead and go in depth with it but I'll go ahead and run it over is that the servers were also really really bad. I would tend to you know, on Black Ops 2 or, you know, any other game, I would usually get anywhere from 60 to 80 ping. In this game, I was getting 120 to 140. That's how slow it was. And it wasn't until three days later that they finally fixed up all their problems. Thankfully, so that way I could enjoy the PC or the PC beta and, you know, actually start to be able to grind it and have fun playing the game. So I understand that this is all, of course, a beta, meaning that it was basically meant so that way, you know, they would find all the problems with it and that it would make a smoother day one launch. However, uh, if this is true, I never want to see this again when they finally come out with the full version of the game. I understand that's probably going to be fixed, but it was so irritating that it just absolutely pissed me off. And because of this, it came up with my with my other reason, my next reason is that you could obviously tell that the PC needed a way better optimization. It was, you know, quote unquote, oh, you don't have to have the best computer in the world to run this game. You can have a $300 lat dollar lat or some, some crappy computer that, you know, you're using, what, I don't even know, McDonald's Wi-Fi from. You know, it was quote unquote that you would be able to have a computer that wasn't that expensive and you'd still be able to run it at a very very you know smooth gameplay and this was not at all correct let me tell you how much of a fluke this was first of all I have a 970 that means that my graphics card is it's, it's a really nice graphics card it's not low end it's not medium it's one of the high end graphics card that you know costed me the top penny but I wanted it because I figured that you know some game like Call of Duty wouldn't take up a lot of this and the thing was is that it, this game pretty much made my graphics card overheat 
a lot. It, I, it constantly was just making my computer extremely loud, it was extremely annoying, and really, really pissed me off. And on top of that, also, I have a 3.5 gigahertz uh, CPU, and it is a quad core, meaning that I should really have no problem you know, being able to process the game. However, I was using anywhere from 50 to 70% of my CPU, and that's one thing that just mind boggles me, is that this game was, you know, oh, it's gonna be really easy, and it's gonna be a good optimization for the PC, and it turned out to be a complete fluke. So please, Treyarch, before you come out with this, quit favoring your console and give us the same rights that they have make it more fluid and more enjoyable i'm tired of always getting the short end of the stick all because i choose a pc over a console it's really annoying and i hope to god that you guys please please just fix the pc by the time it comes out and we will be perfectly fine with each other please so now that I finally got on my system, the really, really crappy or my personal thoughts on the absolutely crappy PC optimization, the really bad port, and the horrible stuttering slash server problems that they had, I will admit this is probably one of the most fun Call of Duties I have ever played, and I can already tell you right now, if they fix all these problems, that I will probably be getting my money's worth and then some. This game is extremely fun. I enjoyed the living crap out of it. I'm still enjoying it, and it's so much fun. Now, I, I will say that this game this game is just fantastic. I really, really do love it. And even though the you know the the th funny thing is, is that even though I was having these stuttering problems and I was I was forcing myself not to play. What I didn't say is that I couldn't force myself 100%. I was still, you know, I was like, okay, I understand that this game has really bad problems. I know I'm going to get pissed off because the amount of lag and stuttering and how many problems there is with this. But it's still, even though it was that crappy, this game was so much fun and I enjoyed so much of it that I was still willing to put aside my absolute anger and my amount of pissed off for this game to go ahead and play this because this is by far one of the most fun Call of Duties I have ever played and, and it's it's definitely going to be extremely amazing by the time that it comes out. The movement system in it is absolutely perfect. I don't know how they did it, but they nailed it. Everything with it is completely fluid. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. The kill time is really, really nice. Yes, there's some really, really stupid things like being able to take over someone's attack helicopter out of the sky and keeping it for your own, and then that person can't shoot it down. There's, of course, really, really bad problems, but when you're going down to the base mechanics of it, it is such a fun game. There's nothing like being able to go ahead and run around in a pistol and having fun. There's there's nothing like going around with a combat knife and having fun. There's nothing like going ahead and pulling out your really, really creepy bow that, you know, takes you only like a second to draw all the way back because you're a super hubot, you're, you're a super robot with incredible strength or whatever it is. Beyond that, it was still one of the funnest times I've ever had. And by the time that this game comes out, I know I'm going to be getting my money's worth and then some. This game was absolutely nailed and they somehow even topped my absolute favorite Call of Duty of all time, which was their own game, Black Ops 2, when it came out in 2012. It's it's such a good and solid game that I have to give them props, and this game has a lot of potential, and I cannot wait until they finally go ahead and get into the, <clears throat> the actual game, and it, it's going to be a lot of fun. As long as they fix their really, really stupid problems, I can't wait for this game. It's going to be absolutely fantastic and a lot of fun for everyone, I can already tell you. So if you're you know, you're trying to like going over here like, hmm, I wonder if this game is going to be any good. There was a lot of problems. I understand that. But I honestly believe in Treyarch so much that by the time the game fully is released and the full version comes out, they'll have fixed that problem and, you know, they'll finally have everything optimized and the way it should be. So without a doubt, I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend you guys get this game because it's so much fun. So as far as my overall thoughts of this game goes is I'm just going to go ahead and flat out say that I do think as long as they fix their problems with it and make it a better optimization or a better optimized game and not so much stuttering and they fix the servers, this game is going to be absolutely phenomenal and I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be extremely fun and I'm definitely going to go ahead and recommend it to you guys to pre-order it and get it the first day that it comes out because I'm telling you right now it's going to be the next big thing. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and peace out.